little bit of a before power washing the hood on the old rambler here seeing if i can get it to come clean uh my mother's not the best day for it but i figured i was tired of how disgusting the 86 was looking so while i got it out i'm gonna go ahead and do a little power washing on this too see what it'll see how it'll come that is going to be a huge difference in the way this looks that is going to be awesome let me zoom out a little bit god dang but yeah you can definitely see a huge difference in that so all right probably do the grill and stuff while i'm down here too not doing a lot today i mean it's thursday so and it, it's it's trying to rain again but we're just getting done what we can get done So, getting in while I can get done while I got some time. Who like I said, I got it out because I wanted to watch the 86. I think it was disgusting. So, yeah, let's see what's up. Let's see how the rest of this is going to turn out.
tight. I think we're gonna call that good for the pressure washer. And yes, I know I probably should have had the carburetor covered and the uh, distributor covered when I did that. But well, well, frankly, it's probably gonna sit here for a week or two at least minimum before it moves again. So it's got a little bit of time for some of that to just dissipate on its own and. I'm not overly worried about it. In the worst case scenario, I gotta crank it a little extra to get to the fire next time. It'll be fine. So, but at least now, next time I touch it, it won't be so greasy. That's a start. I actually would have almost liked to have power washed the, the carburetor, but I know that's a terrible idea. Yeah. All right. That's all I really wanted to do for right now. So I figured I'd bring you guys along while I did it. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be its own little short video or if we'll make this part of this weekend's video. We'll see. You guys will have to stay tuned and watch.